Oh boy. Um. Oh. Though I cannot see the video. Neither can I. Just give it a second. It's, just, it's just loading. Oh, so that oh. doesn't mean we're live yet, huh? Oh, I see it. Hello, everybody. Hello. But I don't Hello. see the video. Oh, no, uh, no, I can't. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at IELCON 2020. Mm -hmm. It's Adult mm -hmm. Story's first convention. Woohoo! And we are so excited to be here. So in this panel, we're going to do a casual, um, oh. Woohoo! A casual meet the uh, staff, and we're going to play a very, hopefully challenging, we tried really hard to make it challenging, S uh, SFAS game. We're going to have a series of different ways to play. So don't worry if you don't think you'll be good at the start. Trust me, there is a way for everyone to be included. Now I'm Hoshino. I am the manager and founder of Idol Story. Um, that means that I, besides taking care of the site in general, I manage the team, the social media, the, well, the feed, and making sure that users are happy, having a good time, and looking for new ways always to make sure the site can be improved and comfy for everyone. Now, we do have some more staff on our panel today and some contributors. Okay. We have Apple. Apple, I'll take it to you to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Apple. I am a community manager at Idle Story. Um, so basically what that means is uh, like my main job is to gather all of the news whenever it comes into the game um, and to post it to the site so that everybody can see it. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of fun and I enjoy it a lot. Thank you so much, Apple. And then next we have Takeshi. Introduce yourself, Hello. Takeshi. Yeah, sorry. I'm Takeshi, I'm the content translator, and just like it says, I translate practically everything from the card database, from the website, homepage, and mainly the event stories, such as the last event story was translated by me. Uh, also, I'd like to say from the content translator point of view that uh, we also have Asi to who translates the uh, daily theater and uh, Luna will translate the card name. So everyone's work together to translate and bring you this content in uh, English, but also uh, every other language. So thank you. Thank you, Takeshi. Here we have Sam, one of our very esteemed designers. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Sam. I am one of the many designers that we have on Adult Story, and I work with all the stills and cards available in All, all Stars, and my job is mm -hmm. basically to clean those and render them into transparent. It's, it's a really fun progress, and I've been enjoying it a lot. Next, uh, as is uh, watching the chat and watching the stream, we have Mimoli. Mimoli is also one of the managers and founders of Idle Story. Without her, none of this really would have been possible. We also have China in the chat, which is our third founder and our very active developer. And the three of us came up with Idle Story together. Uh, believe it or not, Idle Story oh. <laughs> came a long way when we discussed um, discussed it in the ma uh, making about two and a half years ago. Now, two and a half years ago probably seems like a little while considering that I was story just launched uh, for beta testing back in October of 2019. But due to Kayla not releasing very much info about the game, we couldn't really get much started until a couple of months prior. And once that happened and we did get an announcement for release, we went crazy, numed like mad, 
to be able to get out a story out for everybody to use so that way they can track their gaming progress, make wish lists of cards, put themselves on a leaderboard, and start mingling with more community members. Now, we'll be uh, taking some questions if anybody would like to ask any. It could be for us individually as a team regarding the site or about Love Live in general. So if you have any kind of questions that you would like any of the staff members to answer, please let us know. We are happy to answer. And we are watching both Twitch and Discord, so don't feel like you have to make a Twitch account if you don't have one. Um, you can just post in the Discord chat. We'll find the questions there as well. Now, none of this would have really been possible as a presentation without one of our other staff members, Marilina Sakura, who not only helped create this presentation, but is also a database maintainer and a site moderator. So what that entails is database maintainers, when a new card comes out, they have to help input that information onto the website. But besides just putting it onto the uh, website, it also includes having to um, alert people to translate the names, the skills, test it on the home screen, because you wouldn't really want to have a home screen with some legs and not anybody's face to go with it, right? And the like. This also means that we make that card available for those to put in their accounts, depending what server that they're playing. Now that WW or global has released, it also means that we have to go back to those cards that we uploaded so many months ago and make them available for the global members so that way they can put them inside of their uh, wish lists and collections as well. Would any of the panel would like to say something? When it comes to announcing cards, there's also Apple who mentioned that they have to go and put it on social media that a card has released, including events and everything about the cards in general, which can be pretty sporadic. It's, yeah, there's definitely been times where it's a lot more chaotic um, because uh, like some days we'll just get, we'll only get the gotcha and the event announcements. And those are pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of copying down the card information and uh, announcing the dates and times, etc. cetera. Um, so that's pretty easy, but there are definitely times that we get hit with like just a huge wave of just new information for the game. Um, whether it be like big updates coming or like new event types. Um, and so it can get a little bit stressful and overwhelming sometimes um, when we get hit with information all over the place like that but uh like i said before it's a lot of fun and i wouldn't keep doing it if i didn't enjoy it in some way one question that we received was how did you guys get all the cards well on our staff team we have some data miners if you are unfamiliar with data miners they are some very fantastic and helpful people who I personally think they're kind of like fairies who help us get the information as soon as it's input into the game. Now, but when I say input into the game, it's not necessarily that we can see it because these files could be yet to release or that we don't have a banner for it yet, but the files are still encrypted into the game's code. These wonderful people help us go through those codes to get the information to be able to post on the website when these uh, very glorious cards become available. Some database maintainers I should probably know are Cash Again, Ray Firefist, and our own Triangle. Annabelle, who is also one of the newest members of our database maintainers team, helps immensely with things like uploading to the site, to the um, icons, and by icons, those are the little icons you see in your collections. 
and other general card information. Quick shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for the work that you do because we would not be here if it weren't for you either. Another question that we got is, let's see, what would you say was the most challenging aspect to implement onto the website, such as adding decks and translations? I, well, well, I'm not the developer. I think the hardest thing about implementing things onto the website is what should or what could we implement onto the website. It's a lot that we could do, but due to whatever reasoning that the game may give us, we have to put one aspect or feature as a priority higher than the others. Um, currently, we are working on some very viable features that I'm sure you guys may guess, such as events. We hope that you stay around for that one and more. We recently just released a feature that allows you to see a card skill, which is very long awaited. But as her developer says, a lot of these things don't just appear on the site. You just kind of see it there and it's very difficult to implement it behind the scenes, especially with a game like All Stars, where card skills and their data is so different compared to others and requires formulas to calculate them and requires even more formulas to calculate what their stats are after items like accessories or leveling and the like. It's a lot of math. And if you're like me, who's not very good at math, depending on the developer that will do that job for us, they're a really good saver when it comes to that. And now let's see, another question that we have. Where do you get all the information for cards, especially for JP cards? Do you have a translator? Yes. Um, going back to where I mentioned our database maintainers, they also can get data from the Japanese version of the game, which is where we have to get um, new card data for whenever new cards are released within the Japanese version of the game. Now, regarding translators, we have a whole team of translators, not just for Japanese, but for most other languages as well. And on that note, if you think that you could help translate the site into your native language, do feel free to go on our about page and contact us. We're always looking for new translators to help make the site better for other language speaking users and members. 16 languages to choose from, you know. Now, what's your favorite thing about the auto story community? Oh, geez. Apple, would you like to start that one? Yeah, um, I mean, first of all, the Idol Story community is super unique. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of people from different areas of life. Um, and we've all just come together for our love for, you know, these idols and the cards and the game and the music. Um, and so it's really just amazing to see all of these different, you know, all these different people coming together and sharing their idol stories. <laughs> I see what you did there. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Takeshi, how about you? Mm, I'd say the community itself. I like. I'm now part uh, of the staff member of uh, uh, Idol Story, and I'm really enjoying this because everyone is really nice, everyone is really supportive and giving everyone advice and on how to do better or even regarding the translator aspects by seeing other translators translations I can see how they did something so I can make my skill, my translation skills better and that's a really an aspect I really like because it can it can make me improve and to me improving myself as a person and as a translator seems really important. So this is definitely the most the my favorite thing about the community. But I must say that um, every member in this uh, community, not only the staff but also the users, are really nice and I love how they participate in this. This really makes about this website as, as a whole as something really huge since its start and wow really it's amazing 
That was beautiful, Takeshi. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> Sam, how about you? Um, I honestly, I agree a lot with what both Apple and Takeshi said, because uh, in general, I believe that this community might have a lot of drama regarding the ships and maybe their best girls. Um, but yeah, the fact that I could see a huge community like Love Live just come together to work on something like Idol Story and um, put their differences aside and accepting everyone from everywhere, it really inspired me because it doesn't matter your behind story or something like that. It just matters that you're there to help. I don't know if that made sense. It makes perfect sense, and I think that you worded it beautifully. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my favorite part? I honestly have too many to name. From the moment that China, Mimoli, and myself came with this idea to make Auto Story, I've fallen in love with it instantly because I knew that it had the potential to be the home and safe haven for so many people to be able to express themselves, talk about the game without any or just post whatever it's on their mind. And I feel like that nowadays, there's not many places where people can consider a safe haven or a place to express themselves in a very positive manner. And I knew that myself growing up, I would have loved a place to be able to do that for my interest. So that's where Idle Story is kind of like my baby. I want to see it grow. I want to nurture it. And I wanted to be able to help everybody someday when it went out into the world. And knowing that it did, and that one day of October 12th in 2019, trust me, <laughs> it's a very big day for me seeing so many people so happy that we finally launched seeing so many people happy when we have a new feature and seeing people mingle make new friends I feel like that's something so irreplaceable and honestly I <laughs> there would not be a community without you guys so asking me what my favorite part is pretty difficult because I mean my favorite part is you oh my god you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it goes without saying that I really do genuinely have a huge appreciation and gratefulness for not only all of the members of Idol Story, but the staff team behind it. And while we're still talking about the staff, um, I do want to shed some light that you guys are part of the Idol Story community. And even though it couldn't happen without the members of the community, it could not happen without you guys either. And I truly, truly from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for working with me every single day. Thank you for always having a smile on your face or saying that you're happy to help because we can't do this if we don't have a team. And I would not change the current team for the world. And for anybody who wants to be a part of the team or learn more about being within this team, I'm more than happy to talk about it with you because I'm so, so happy whenever we get someone new aboard. Now I was I wasn't planning to cry today, but well <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I'm so sorry we don't have any complimentary tissues to give everybody, but you really hit that feeling button, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean to be sappy. I just love everybody. But moving on to another question so we can wrap up and start our game. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I saw a question asking if uh, there's an update for our All-Stars guide. Um, I don't know how many of you follow our social media, which you should if you're not. Um, but there, I think about a month ago, a month or two ago, um, we sent out a survey asking the community uh, some of the features they would most like to see in a potential guide. Um, and so we compiled that information. We are slowly working on building guides. It is a slow process because we want to make sure that we do it the right way and that we do it in, we want to make, you know, the most informative guide that we possibly can. Um, so it is taking a little bit, but that is something that we are working on. Especially since and this game is really hard to play from the RPG aspect. 
and not just considering the RPG aspects, but when we put out the survey, you guys really came through with expressing what you guys personally find helpful in a guide. And first off, thank you, because that kind of information we use to be able to make something that's effective for as many people as it possibly could be, from whether you're a new player or experienced player, we want to create a guide that could be helpful. And some aspects that people had pointed out are so tiny that we would not have thought of it ourselves, which is why we are so grateful that we put out the survey and you guys answered. I know that some ideas that some people had sent in, I thought it was pure genius. Um, things like color coding certain aspects in the guide, absolute genius, or making just an, um, an index or just a way for people to find something that they need without having to go through a whole wall of text. It's things like this that make us be able to work hard to create something that's useful for you. And I do apologize for how long it's taking, but as Apple said, um, it's something that we're working very hard to get, uh, get out for everybody. So I really ask for your patience for a little bit longer. We promise it'll be worth the wait. Oh, of course. And also regarding to that, if you know anybody that has made a guide that has helped you, or you think that you are good at being able to explain the game and its mechanics on its own, we are looking for some wiki editors that can help us create those guides as well. The thing about Idle Story is that being able to help on Idle Story, you don't have to be popular. You don't have to have a lot of followers. You can just be an underdog and just shed your skin and come out to the world and the content that you help us post an auto story alone. I think that's the most beautiful thing about it is that auto story is made up of people who just enjoy helping. And if that's something you like to do, then we'd love to see you here. Let's see. Yeah. That reminds me when a uh... Started translating I mean, stories, and I remember I asked for you a lot by tagging you below the Twitter post, and you helped me right away. You were really nice. This 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 shows how um, open this website is. So really, if anybody wants to help, they can be free to do it. Oh, most certainly. Um, the question that we receive is, how do you decide who to reach out to for assistance with the site? And as Takeshi said, Takeshi just started out by um, translating event stories on their own and posting on Twitter and just tagging us if we can help them spread it. And after I read a couple of their stories and seeing how they kept up with it and put the same quality into each and every event story, I knew that they were dedicated and love with what they do. and. I was honored. I was honored to share and honored to ask him to join the team. It really just works that way. I personally take time out of my day to follow different people to be able to see what kind of contributions they make to the community. And I reach out. Same goes for SAFAS Daily Theater. You guys probably may see those posts every day with some uh, short chats with some of the girls. They were never a starter Idle Story staff member. I reached out to them just recently and we had a partnership and now we get to share their content with you. So again, you don't have to be big. You don't have to be popular. You don't have to have a lot of followers. If you're just you and you love what you do, that's good enough for Idle Story. <laughs> now to go for one more little question before we start our game. I have to choose carefully here because I really wish I could get to everybody, but... Hmm. What is your favorite song to play? Is it because you love the song, because you love how it plays, or both? Also, what is your most built card? Apple, would you like to start with that one? Ooh, um... Man, that's actually a really hard one, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there's a lot of songs that I just really enjoy playing just because, like, it's, I don't know, they're just a lot of fun to do. Um, I'd probably have to go with Wake Up Challenger just because that's been one I've been playing a lot recently, uh, just to try and keep 
getting up to that S rank score. I'm getting close, but not that close. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd probably say Wake Up Challenger. It's just a lot of a lot of fun to play. Wake Up Challenger has such a beautiful MV too. Yeah, that too. Definitely. How about you, Takeshi? Well, I'm not really playing specific songs right now. I'm always skipping because I'm trying to get all the, you know, the, how are they called, the, those levels to, on your, near your name. Uh, once you play a song 100 times. Um, oh, the special the titles? Title. Yeah, the special titles. I'm trying to get all of them. So right now I'm skipping all of the songs. But if I had to pick one, I'd say Sky Journey because the MV is really nice and it's a really nice Ruby Center song, which is which makes it even better. So I'd say Sky Journey. Sky Journey is a How really about you, good song? one. Um, I honestly love Arashi no Naka no Koi Dakara. Is that how you say it? Um. I, I just enjoy playing it a lot because not only because we can pair certain girls with each other, but the the MV is beautiful. I love it. I love the colors and the the petals just falling. So yeah, I guess that's it. I honestly have to say that's the song I was gonna say myself. <laughs> it's really pretty. I think it's just very interactive, and with the pedals, it just—it's gorgeous. I yeah. honestly, can't, I can't express it too much because you pretty much took the words right out of my mouth. But I really do like that <laughs> there's certain girls you can have scenarios with them, and if you're someone who enjoys ships, for example, that's a good song to start with. Or if you're someone who just wants to um, have you know best friends of girls pair together, or your favorite characters. That's the perfect mm -hmm. song to take pictures for. I think it's a, a very optimal song to be able to create your own content that you've been wishing for that couldn't be available at all in School Out of Festival, for example. Yeah. Okay, God last God. one. Best girls God and God staff. God. Oh boy. Ooh. <laughs> Knows me for me, all the way. Wait, I mean, should should we say like a girl from every every group? If you'd like, but personally, knows me, just knows me. Okay. Uh, for me, I mean, I really genuinely love all of the girls. Like they all hold a pretty big spot in my heart. But as far as best girls go, I definitely have to go with Maki for Muse, Yo for Aqua, and Ayumu for Nijigasaki. That's beautiful. Well, I'd say um, for Muse, I'd go with Nico. For Aqua, I'd go with Yohane. For Nijigazaki, I. Good choice. Um, For Muse, I'd go with for Hakio. Honestly, I love her. For Aqua, I'd go for Rico. Uh, she's been my best girl for over a year now. And for Nijigazaki, I'd go for Rina. A quick tidbit to say congratulations to Rina for winning Sega Staff Image Girl. Woohoo! Yay, oh Rina! Oh my god, yes. I was so happy. I think that's gonna be a really good fit for her. True. Can't wait to see all the content that will come from that one. Now, Apple, I'll let you take it away. Alright, who's ready to play some games? We've got a couple different mini games set up for you guys, or well, mini games. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna have a good fun time. Thank you again to Marilina for helping prepare this for us and for asking us for our thoughts on how to make it fun, challenging, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Absolutely. I, um, I had to play with no peeking or no previews and no answers and I have struggled on a few of these myself so if I struggled and I'm very casual at the game I hope that someone out there would 
well, I'm not saying I hope you struggle, but I hope I'm saying <laughs> that you you'll have a very fun time trying to figure out uh, the answers to these, and we'll see how you guys do. Let's get started, huh? All right, so I'm sure you guys can see the rules on your screen right now, but I'll just run through them really quick. Um, so we've got five different categories that we're going to be playing with. Um, the first one is going to be which card does this crop belong to? Uh, then find the missing link, who idolizes into what, who's hiding in the darkness, and then still or card. Um, each question will give you about a minute to figure out the answer. Um, once you know what the answer is, just go ahead and put it in the chat. Um, and yeah, good luck, have fun. <laughs> good luck everyone. All right, we'll go ahead and get started with the first game. We're gonna show you a zoomed in crop from a card and your job is going to guess to see uh, which card the crop belongs to. So I'll go ahead. Here's the first one. I'm gonna count to three, start the timer and you get to guess which card it belongs to. One two, three, go. <laughs> oh, I already see a lot of people answering. <laughs> yeah, we've already got... <laughs> I hope they don't think that's gonna stay this easy. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this first one was a little bit easy. Hey, the first round of a game is always the easiest. That's true. And then it gets super hard. <laughs> and it definitely does get harder after this round. Oh boy. Well. Okay. I think it's safe hey, to I say. I agree. Nozomi's best girl. <laughs> can you guess the card name, though? Yeah, bonus oh. points if you can guess the name. Wait, there's points? Nah, it's like, it's the points don't matter. The general saying. <laughs> oh, I wanted points. I'll yeah. give you a point later, Sam. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone guessed the uh, card name or the card uh, costume? Hold on, let me check. Oh, we got one. Oh, yeah, I just saw one. Yeah, I saw, I'm, I'm seeing one as well. Good job. The card most definitely is... Boink. Boink. Ta-da. All right. I think I saw a handful of people actually guess the right name of the card, so good job. <laughs> it is bonus points guys. if you can remember the uh, costume name. All right. Yeah. Here comes the next one. See if you can guess the card and the girl. Ready, set, go. Remember, we're looking for the card as well as the girl. <laughs> okay, I see a few... <laughs> I see a few answers and they're all correct for now. <laughs> the Nico from that one episode in the anime. I won't say you're wrong. <laughs> It but does you're, you're, a lot oh. like that, Nico. Honestly, when I first saw that card, I was like, oh, they remade it. It looks a lot better. <laughs> Mina no Luna is really good at this so far. Mina they got no it right. Are you, are you cheating? 
Yeah, so the answer was Fest Nico, or to be more specific, Smiley Angel Nico. So good job to those of you who guessed it. Proud of you. You guys are doing so well. It really well. does look so gorgeous. Who's ready for the homies. next card? This one's definitely a little bit trickier. On your mark, oh. get set, go. Oh, I saw I saw someone put the wrong answer. Ooh. And someone said me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was me too. Or rather, I wish that was me. With the crop. I, I would like that very much, actually. Yeah, that looks so yeah. tasty right now. <laughs> we got a few answers. I'm seeing a few right answers. Someone even guessed the card name. Like, Mario in the Zoom Suite in that one event story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Uh, this card is so beautiful. I don't know. What to... Maybe it's the food. It has to be the food. It's too or cute maybe for it's... an SR. Yeah, it's Mario's <laughs> face. She's so ecstatic. It's a you are in my heart. Aww. Aww. Hey, Hanamaru with food, there is no better pairing. Alright, here is the next one. Ready, set, go. I kind of want that that water container. That canister is so pretty. It is really cute. Maybe they'll actually make it as real merch someday. I would buy it in a heartbeat oh, if they did. Card. I cannot guess this. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it too. Spooky Sammy. There, there's people that are really into it. Like they're the first ones guessing. You guys are killing it! Hey, I did tell you guys, there are gonna be some people who are really good at this. <laughs> you did say that. That means they are dedicated. I believed in you guys. You did oh a really God. good job. Good job, everyone. And the answer is? Angel's Lullaby Kanata, aka her fess you are. Beautiful. Such a pretty card. Oh, Let's oh. talk about the idolized, though. The whole card is just, oh, mm, so perfect. All right, My we've got one more card. One. one more card for this round, and we'll move on to the next game. Here's your crop. Oh, boy. And ready, set, go. Wait, I, I was seeing the comments and I didn't remember which card it was and I got so confused. <laughs> <laughs> like, I honestly don't- didn't remember the card. Of course it's Shrink Chan. Yeah. Best character in the entire franchise. It's Shrimp and Ayumu Snake. I forgot the name. Sorry. Chica in the lobster costume! <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would scout for that. I would scout for Chica in a lobster costume. No, wait. But I think I think Chica Chica in a lobster costume is paired with Hanayo in, in an orange costume. <laughs> <laughs> They're perfect for each other. Alright, there's the answer. Those of you get that guessed happiness cheerleader Chica are correct. Good job. I should probably note that this is a shrimp. It is a shrimp. 
Fantastic. a shrimp that you can actually buy. There's a large chica shrimp that you're able to buy as real official merch, as well as a baby shrimp. How do I know this? Chica shrimp is awesome. All right, here is the next game. In this one, we're going to show you a few different cards, and you're going to have to determine what the link between these cards are. <laughs> Who's ready to play? I'm not. Oh, well. Slowly raises my hand. <laughs> That's good enough for me. <laughs> oh boy. I feel like I'm being dragged for something really bad. Alright, here's the first question. Who is the missing card from this set? Ready, set, go! We are not ready. Oh boy. I've got a couple of answers too. I've seen a couple of right answers. Yeah, hmm. I, I see a lot of people getting it wrong, honestly. Remember to read the hint, too. We put those there for a reason. I see some of you guys put on your thinking caps for this one. No, yeah, no, the music I'm not. matches this perfectly. I was just thinking that. I'm not actually thinking. I'm just reading the the chat on Twitch. And uh, yeah. Yeah, those That's of you that cool. guessed a Yumu are correct. These are all event cards from the first event. Yo and Katori were both gotcha cards. So good job, those of you that got it. Good job, you guys. You really threw it back to the very start of the game, didn't we? <laughs> Gotta make sure that you're all paying attention. Oh, and Mina, Mina no Luna just pointed out that it's the leader, the leader squad. And yeah, they're right. <laughs> That's true. That is true. This okay. is classic. All right, next question. Who's the missing card? Ready, set, go. I don't read the remix. Um. You know, this one would have been a tough one for me, too. I'm, I'm gonna try to not look at the chat because people are really smart. They they guess it really fast. Remember, well, there's I, no... I believe uh, in them. You guys can always so, uh, look at a idle story if you want to uh, find the cards. There's no rule against that. Just in case if you need a little bit of help. Um... So I really want to play hard mode. I don't know this one. <laughs> I know it because I'm looking at the answers right now. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look at the answers. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Hey, hey, they're not cheaters. They're very. Uh, they're resourceful. Players. <laughs> very resourceful. They have bad memory. All right, as you can see, those of you that guessed Hanamaru were correct. Hanamaru was the missing event card from this event. Good job. All right. Good job. Next Good job, question. Everybody. Which of these cards is the odd one out? On your mark, get set, go. I have small brain, same. <laughs> <laughs> This is what genuinely one of my favorite card sets too. I same. love this. I love this. One hundred percent theme. same. If you put sweets or food in a card, I'm down for it. Thanks, Mara. I appreciate that. <laughs> Mm 
seeing some very interesting answers here. I'm just vibing. <laughs> I do like how some guesses are purely because the card looks more different than another. Yeah, the answer is Ellie. Ellie was the event you are for this uh, event. Ruby and Ayumu were both gotcha cards. I think most of you got that one. So, good job. I would have been stumped. Red Zek oh, says, yeah. I'll say Ellie just because everyone else says it. <laughs> Me too. You're very honest. All right, so for this one, who is the odd one out? Ready, set, go. I will give you a little bit of a hint. This one's different than you think it might be. You know, this one, I think, was the hardest one. Yeah, this one's definitely pretty hard. I, I did see waiting. a couple people guess it already, though, so good for you guys. Spooky Sammy, you can definitely phone a friend. You can phone me anytime. <laughs> I'll be your friend. Aww. Not because of a touching moment, it's because I have the answers in front of me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't know the answer, I'd say it was Kanon because of the color of their outfits. Nope. All right. Answer. The answer was I. Like I said, this one was a little bit different than you might have been expecting. I was the only card that was not a pure card of these three. She was an elegant attribute card. I see that I went in a different route, huh? Please don't. Ew. <laughs> anyway, guys. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> We're not kicking Hoshi from the call. <laughs> not yet, at least. She's, she's on thin ice, but she's not gone yet. I work here. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Which one of these is the odd one out? Ready, set, go. My brain is out of juice. Guys, what are you drinking? <laughs> you know, it really is interesting how two of these are in the club room. Yeah, I just noticed that. In life, you're either Kothari Umi or Rin. At any given point of my life, I am all three of those. Honestly, <laughs> I, I, I'm just Honoka in that episode where she fainted after performing. <laughs> like, any m mild inconvenience just happens and I just... I go. Top 10 most tragic anime deaths. Oh my god, yes. This is a setup. Well, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> and the answer is Umi. Rin because... <laughs> Rin because she's the only dupe I keep getting. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm so sorry. I felt that one deep in my soul. <laughs> I hope you you get another card other than Rin. <laughs> All right, that was it for this round. Good job, those of you who were uh, guessing all the right answers. And I believe in all of you for the next round. Well, don't make them seem scared. Oh, I'm... I got this. <laughs> well, you should. My job is to instill fear. Oh, God. <laughs> so the My next job is to make sure everyone knows that it's going to be okay. You got this. 
I believe in you guys. All right, next round. Who idolizes into what? I'm gonna show you a card. You're gonna have to choose the option that idolizes into the correct card. Your first question is this. Go ahead and guess. I am not familiar with this. Happy birthday, Maki. Happy birthday, Maki. Yeah, happy birthday, Maki. It is Maki's birthday today. Happy birthday, Maki. You muse is very soon music composer. Should we all just sing Ma Maki's solo or? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer is Snow Halation Maki, option one. All right, we're going to start speeding these up a little bit. We see that you guys got the hang of it. So, which Rico does this idolize into? Okay, this one almost seems like it was too easy. <laughs> Lots of you are guessing the right answer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal that it was option two. <laughs> Some of them are a lot harder than most... others, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. And this is probably one of the most jaw-dropping releases that I've had. <laughs> Next question, choose the correct I card. I believe in you. No. All right, for those of you who guessed option one, you are correct. Exciting animal. All right, the next this is very question. For her. Which Hanayo does this idolize into? Hanayo. Yeah, but where's the alpaca? Love me some good alpacas. They're important too, you know? The answer to this Hanayo is... Option three, happy parade, Hanayo. Just going with the chat at this point. <laughs> Good call. Which Shizuku does this idolize into? Ooh, we went with the curveball, huh? Throwing some rare cards at you guys. We have some answers that are pretty uncertain. Oh, um... For those of you who guess, <laughs> Option 4 is not an answer. <laughs> For those of you who guessed, Option number... 3. You are correct. Wow. Good job. All right, we are on are to our final round of this game. We're going to show you two silhouettes and it's going to be your job to figure out which cards are in the shadows. Here's your first two. Ready, set, go. Ooh. Well, I can't I can't believe there's people actually guessing this. I can. You guys got it. It's Cessna, Cessna and Kanata. And Kanata. Good job. Here's the next one. Ready? Set. Go. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. That one was my fault. 
I, <laughs> I double clicked. You guys get a freebie. <laughs> oh boy. That was my bad. Featuring one of my favorite URs in the whole game. So yeah, that one was Rico and knows me. <laughs> All right, here's your next one. I am not going to give this one to you. Go ahead and guess. Oh, um... Uh... These are very interesting array of cards that have been put together. Nico and Yo. Good job of the, those of you who guessed it. That one was a little bit tougher, but it's only Lucky's gonna get harder father. from here. Lucky's father. Here's the next one. Ready, set, guess. Look like we got in it. You guys did it. Yep, Maki and Kanon. Was it her legs that gave it away? <laughs> Only Kanon's got oh. such beautiful legs as that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maki and Kanon. Good job, everybody. <laughs> All right, here's the last one for this round. Ready, set. Yes. I think this one was my hardest one. Yep. This is actually a really nice thing. No fair, you guys can guess it that fast. <laughs> I need to brush up then. How are people guessing it? I know, I, th I thought they were hard. <laughs> I we were struggling. We should have put three cards on top of each other instead of two. <laughs> oh gosh, no. Ruby and Honoka. You guys do know your idols. I'm so proud of you. I guess the idol story team doesn't know their idols. <laughs> oh, it's boy. not that we don't know our idols. It's that we see our it's idols big. so much that we hope it could be difficult for other people. Yeah. It's because we are too focused on knowing what our dear users. We love them. <laughs> That's right. Considering the time frame, we only have three minutes left, and the closing uh, ceremonies in a couple of minutes as well, we should probably skip the last round. So unfortunately, uh, we ever. are going to have to skip our last game. That's okay. You guys probably would have gotten it in no time at all. True. Yeah, We're definitely. happy to show Karen Panda skill. Or still, rather. I love the panda. So thank you guys for playing, and we hope that you guys enjoyed the freebie that we happened to give you. We wish we had a little bit more time, but it was fun anyways. We had so yep. much fun that we totally lost track of time, didn't we? <laughs> we yeah. really did. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was frightened we we might have stumble or something like we we didn't know what to say anymore, but I'm glad it went the uh, time to buy. We should do something like this more often, shouldn't we? Yeah. Probably, I yeah. Just, Maybe we'll look into something for... like that. Well, of course, with new cards, too. Oh, yeah. Next, we, next we, could host a, we could host a Kahoot or something like that. <laughs> Maybe. But thank you guys for joining Idol Stories Otacon 2020 panel. Now, before we go, we just want to say a couple of words. Namely, be safe out there. Practice social distancing. Wash your hands. And take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Get some sleep. Maybe play some games. Maybe games like School Idol Festival. Maybe games like All Stars. Or maybe a really special game that released recently by Nintendo called Animal Crossing New Horizons. And speaking of Animal Crossing New Horizons, 
we knew we have a new baby sister site dedicated to Animal Crossing. You can find it and learn more information about that at ac.db0.company. You can share your creations within the game with your friends and you can make your own database similar to Isla Stories. It's a very similar interface, friendly for everybody. So if you guys would like us to link that at some point, we'll be more than happy to. Once again, thank you guys for coming out to our panel. It means so much. And we hope that you had a great time at Adelcon. We'll see you at the closing Thanks. ceremony. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Eat some snacks. <laughs>